Hi everyone, this is just a post to show you how easy it is to use Steemit. So for any Steemit newbies out there, this is just to help you format your posts the way you'd like to. I'll start by switching you over to my screen. So hi, I'm still here. Okay, so you're on the homepage. I'm already logged in, so if you're not log in, logged in, obviously log in. We're going to go into submit a story, and this is where you write your post. And um, first thing I want to show you is if you start typing here, you can see it come up at here at the top, and it also comes up down here on the preview. So if you're writing a blog post, you're going to start off with a heading. And then let's say you wanted to do a subheading. Obviously, you want these two to be two different sizes. So all you have to do if you want to make this much bigger, this is heading one. And look how much bigger it got down here. Okay, so it's just hashtag and space. Your subheading, same thing, but double it. So you've got two hashtags, space, and see what it did? If I go three hashtags, I can type slightly smaller text. Let's say you just want to type something into italics or bold. So it's very simple. Something in italics and something in bold. Star, star, there you are, something is now in italics. You see it down here? Yep. And over here, if we want to make this something in bold, we simply star star, star star, and there it is. Okay, so next, let's say you want to put something into a quote. So this is a quote. As you type in the little arrow at the top, it instantly turns the second line into a quote. So simple. Next, if you want to link something, uh, this one is a little harder to remember. But I'm going to make the word link into link to a website. So first let's get a link. Let's use this website here, imgur.com. I'll tell you a little more about it in a moment. So we're going to paste this link here. We're going to put the link in brackets. Then outside the link, put the word link into box brackets. The word representing your link, you put it in box brackets. The actual link, you put it in ordinary brackets. So that's the link. Let's say I wanted to link somebody to my page instead. This is my page. You could just put in at beans. And see the way that it comes up blue? Like a link. So that would bring you to my page anyway. But you can make that look better and take out the at sign by putting at beans into brackets. And putting page or whatever word you want to use to link into box brackets. So I could change this word obviously to beans. I could say my name is beans. That's how you link. It's getting chilly. So say you want to attach an image. So looking at this it doesn't look that easy. You can't actually upload an image. I'll show you what you have to do if you want to upload an image. So, so the first one is a picture from Facebook. So we'll show you that first. So we're going to go into Facebook. I already have a picture here that uh, I want to upload. So the first thing I have to do is I have to right click on the picture. This is unfortunately in Italian, but what that says is copy link of image or copy image link. So you click that. Now, because of Facebook's permissions, it doesn't allow you to actually link it straight from Facebook. So what I have to do is I actually have to have put it on a website that does allow you. Like if I try to link this straight to here, you see how it doesn't come up? So Imgur is the website that's going to allow you to share your Facebook post. Imgur is just an example of a website that my brother rec recommended. I'm sure there's more that you could use, but um, I find this one quite simple because you don't even actually have to register an account. That's basically all you do from your homepage. So you can just put your URL in here, which is what you just copied from your picture. And instantly it takes the picture from Facebook. Once the whole thing is uploaded, it will go back into my images, click on the last one, and we do the same thing again, except this time it's going to allow us. So copy link of image. And we're going to paste it here. And look what happened. Magic. So that's how you post them from Facebook. What if I have a picture on my phone that I want to attach? So we actually have to do the exact same thing again. So I have a bunch of screenshots that I took from making this video. Go into new post. So. Here's a bunch of pictures that I want to use for this post. You could have the folder from your phone open. 
Um, I simply select the pictures that I want, drag them onto the page, and that is so fast. Now I should go down the list and make sure that all of them have uploaded. And then I go back into my images and I pick one that I want. So here's an image I wanted. Copy image link, come back out, paste, and there's my image. I'm sure it will get easier. But what's useful about this is you can take an image from anywhere. Being aware of copyright, so you can't claim an image that's not yours to be yours and make money off it. Sometimes you might just have to say that it's not yours. It doesn't belong to you. Easy peasy. Now, so this is a video that I either liked or uploaded. Um, we're going to use one of mine. So this is a video I was making earlier. So this is quite similar to how we do it on Facebook. It's really, really easy. Scrolling down from the video, going to share. There's your link. Copy that. And paste. Down to preview, and there it is. I can even play that in my preview. So, video camera on. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's me testing out my screencasting abilities that I used for this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Really, I just did this video because it's something I couldn't find when I started. It's what I was looking for. I hope you enjoyed my video. Yeah, I hope to see you here on Steemit. See you next time.